Okay, so I might have died, um, but that doesn't mean I didn't learn anything. Uh, I just learned what not to do, right? So we're just gonna go with quick play. We're gonna go the next step up. You know, maybe we didn't finish extracurricular activity, but we learned a lot. And we're gonna just skip through the intro because I should disable the intro. Um, but let's get right into it. Banished to the other dimension long ago, Gozo, or Gaizo, I think I'm gonna say Gozo, has found a way to use mirrors to ensure that and tele ensnare and teleport its prey through the glass. Glimpses of horror lurking behind your reflection are just the beginning. Old God's Rule, Resting at Home Races Doom, Backstory World of Horror, Character Exclusive Perk Card, Only Randomized Item Statistics. We are playing- what? Nicotine Withdraw? Combat Action Slower. Who's this guy? What's my guy's name? You? Oh, that's me, me. Alright, well, my dude has nicotine withdrawn. Uh, he has cigarettes. What if I use him? Smoking kills. I got withdrawal. It's a curse, mental. I'm dead. Alright. Um. go with that for now and let's just start with um, I already beat that one see death cheated okay so let's just go with this one um, uh, I think Let's let's just keep going. Like like it's brand new. Like it's brand new. Oh, I'm following you slowly find trying on the path. Yeah, we already know that. Well, not like it's brand brand new. Can should I smoke? Uh, let's fight it. Damn, it worked out for us last time. Ah, I drifted into nothingness and I got sucked into another dimension. Ah, uh, now. I like this, the um, Lovecraftian thing that there's sometimes doors to other dimensions and you just sort of get sucked in and find yourself lost in a world that isn't yours and it's just not inhabitable for humans. The temperature abruptly drops and you're sh you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland, a sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numb, freezing. You have to move. I don't want to give up. I'm going to go towards the pyramid. The frozen guard corpse is standing on eternal guard duty, find you worthy. The usurper king kindly decides to share his forbidden knowledge with you. And I got frostbite. It's minor injury, don't worry. Oh, this looks sort of familiar. Oh, cool. Black hair. Oh, what's this? Mine's a sewn kit. Okay. Let. I guess let's take a smoke. Nicotine rush status. It's interesting. All combat actions are faster. Ah, so he's addicted. Cool. Maybe I'll use that some other time. Uh, there's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But was it just a legend? It was just a legend, right? <gasps> oh, shit! I just wanted the sewing kit. I just wanted the fucking sewing kit so I could combine it with my black hair. Holy... I learned a spell. That scared me. That's the negative effects. It scared me. It didn't do anything bad to my guy, but it scared me.
My reason went down. My real life reason went down. The storage room. That thing is there now. I can't cover the mirror with anything. So I'm just going back because I hate looking at that crap. I'm gonna just go about my freaking day. You smoke a cigarette on your way. This fucking thing, dude. I wanna kill this thing now. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Hit it. Hit it. Yes. Oh, shoot. It's this thing again. Okay, now. I saw this last time. I didn't know what it was doing. So let's just do that. Floated corpse of your uncle slowly floats in the room as the remaining walls collapse. The contract is not over yet. Boy. Oh my god, that helped though. Just fucking. Just going on. Alright. The contract is void. A voice booms in your head as everything gets dark. When you wake up, you find yourself lying in the grass. No mansion. Nowhere to be seen. Next, you are on the. Next to you are the other guests. As confused as you, everything feels like a bad dream. Was the man claiming to be your granduncle really trying to cheat death itself? You and the other family members finally exit the forest and leave the nightmare of it behind. One thing is certain though, you will never open letters from law firms from Tokyo. <laughs> Vicious version of a violent vigil, ending A. XP, less doom, time passes. Good job! There's something wrong in the tap water. It's black and old and plus I'm smelling death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. So I can't take a freaking shower. Well then. So hopefully let's let's do a new one. Let's do a new one. Let's do this one. Rotten reports of rancid ramen. That is disgusting. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens this town and it's adored by everyone? Once people take a bite, they can't stop day and night the queue stretch out the door. Sh shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? Is that a f is that supposed to make a face? Like two eyes? Is that a finger? I'm pretty sure that's a finger. As you progress, the location of the rules may change. Okay. Dumpster dive. Discard two item cards to complete this quest. Ah, yes. I I can level up. Okay, so charisma, metro, leadership. There's always a way out of seeming these helpless situations. Dexterity. It's a quick thinking. Art knowledge. You've got an eye for an art of detail. Perception, dexterity, or charisma. Quick thinking, dexterity, dexterity and strength. Just build a barbarian. I, what? Okay, I guess. In the mirror, I catch a glimpse of. Did I level up though? Me? Hello? Oh, I got it. I got. I got quick thinking. Quick. I don't have any items to discard though. I got the black hair. Let's, I don't know, let's freaking shop for an item. Ooh. I have a cleaver though. Damage 3. Salt. <laughs> 4 damage to ghost type enemies. How much does this cost? Let's just buy the two cheapest things and then discard them. Discard and discard. Uh, that cuts off. That text definitely cuts off. You sneak into the alley of the dead of night. 
at the dead of night. Gagging, you look inside the restaurant waste. It's a vile pulp. A few chunks of meat look like promising samples, though. Rancid meat of an unknown source. It smells horrible. Disgusting. Alright. Investigate the apartments. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin, a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. Nice. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. Not bad. The apartments. You find an envelope lying on a pillow in your bedroom. Side is cash and note from someone who has been watching you. They wish you luck in the task and promise to meet you soon. And they somehow just got in my room. I don't appreciate that. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. Um... Okay, let's just keep going then. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rail you use stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. It's a twisted corpse. That's just creepy. What? Oh, you're pissing me. You're absolutely joking. What do I do? Pray? What is this? Okay, let's just clap, clap, bow, bow, bow. Uh, nothing happens. You think you got two ritual moves right? I think I will do the smart thing and run away. I just don't have the salt. I don't have the... I just don't. Stand in line for hours. Your questions fall on deaf ears and you're shunned. I'm not the only one that try wants to try it for myself. Okay. You are investigating World of Darkness. Uh, through the dirty restaurant window you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in stranger symbols. He stops in front of a house visibly nervous before he enters the house. He Turns around as he's checking. Uh, follow him? The door is locked, but you repeat the knocking pattern and swish menus at. A moment later, the door opens and a surprised teen with greasy hair asks, Who the hell are you? Mistaking these nerds for cultists sure is embarrassing, but deep inside, you're relieved. That's good. That's not bad. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Is that blood you can smell? Alright. I think this is gonna be it. I'm gonna actually be in it. Desperate solution. A woman pumps and bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint vision of Gozo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Minus two stamina. Excuse you. What? Did she like Hulk bump into me? Bro, she body slammed me. It's finally my turn to order though, so run ramen please. The owner grins wide. Owners grin whiteness. Alright, let's go. Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. And it's the freaking obsessed man. Alright, bro. You don't want the smoke. You just don't want it. Uh, not enough, huh? This man, alright, you know what? I'm gonna try to one-shot him. Oh, can, can I do all three? Okay. I'm gonna just kill him in two turns then. Oh, my nicotine high is gone. <coughs> I 
Alright, bro. I told you you didn't want the smoke, but you just... You just had to. A red Bull is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. <laughs> Alright, we're in the restaurant now. A labyrinth. Get lost. I just got lost. With a slick hand, you fill a vial of... Vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the meat dish. I go to a lab. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into the, a lab. While handing over the gathered materials, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Vial in the meat. Fucking frame them. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood reveals something horrible. Whatever this is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Friend le leaves you with the papers, muttering an excuse and preparing to flee down <laughs> on the next train. Huh? Prepared for a fight. You march down to the restroom. However, you find no eldritch horror to do. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore this distraught customer still lining up where they remember the entrance. Investigating the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunks of meat and then jump back with a yell as it flexes. It opens a weary eye, grins and wanders off on stabby black claws. Stubby black claws. You walk home shaken. In your head, you hear a weird ramen breathe. The weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw it up on the streets. Run reports of Ransom Ramen. Knowledge. Yeah. Throw investigation. I was going to say frame them, but I guess there was nothing to frame them for. <laughs> Roads leading out of town are closed by the police. You have to find a new way out. Wh why is he here? I wasn't gonna leave time in the first place. Find a small key. Let's go. Alright, can I use my bath now? I wish I had bottled water, but... Oh well, I guess I'm just gonna have to take a nap soon. Uh, let's run this one. Eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Whilst returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex. Kana. That weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish. You, sh you shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen, while later she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious what weird fish... What weird fish did he bring this time, she grins. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder. What weird fish did he bring this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me... Under he will sure he will underscore surely underscore recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please, investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. I am always going to do the side quest from now on. I don't care if it gives me cancer, like Eldridge cancer, not regular cancer. But I'm going to rest real quick, gain that stamina and reason. Five, do five doom. Damn, did I sleep for a week? Jesus. Let's go see something. I got Kana with me. Minus damage received during combat. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. <laughs> what? <laughs> that. Okay. That's some Steven Universe stuff. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. It's a drowner sponge. It needs another body now. Oh, it's... Oh. I'm... Oh, it's that thing. That, that black thing on it is what it is. 
I need another cigarette, huh? I got more nicotine withdrawal. And I got freaking frostbite. Minus two strength. Let's just fucking have at it. Um, is it dealing damage? Because I have, like, like a one damage medication. I missed both my attacks. Um, it jumps at me. This music, though. I'm still taking damage, yeah. I think she stops physical damage. Eh, eh. Well, she's stopping some of the damage, so that's good. I'm still taking that damage, but... Oh, it only does reason damage. You, you can die now. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is... I mean, I already knew that. My reason's in the pits right now. I'm... What's my... What's the doom at? 45? I gotta go home. I need some reason. No, I topped off everything. What, 55? It's okay. Whenever we complete an investigation, we... We, we freaking bring that back down, so we're good. Afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side, you try to avoid mirrors. Agents of Gozo. Uh, dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office! What do you mean, we shouldn't? <laughs> this is my best friend right here. He must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. So let's break into his office. Because that's a good idea. Into the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. Sun noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors has opened on its own. Close the door. And run. You might be paranoid, but there's no way you're risking an encounter with a ghost here. Yeah, I'd die. The neighbor's school office was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protest, Kona decides to take one jar home. Kona, I hate you. Why? Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How could she sip her soda so calmly staring at this creepy creature? Kana? What's seven reason? Come on, dude. Wandering through your an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you really could use a drink. Um, get the most expensive one. Taste seems a little odd, but you do enjoy the drink anyway. I feel like the cheapest one would have been like actual human blood. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is this eel even alive? I'm just not even talking to her anymore. I've just lost it. I'm just talking to myself. A uh, visitor. A loud knocking make, wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, sh shouts from the deep voice behind the door. I know you're there. Close to the door and ask, what's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, what? Freak answer the door, the ladder box suddenly opens, and an unknown invader tries to leap inside. You lurk behind in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from the apartment. Well, I should have just called the police. Connor was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. Let's level up. And I wanted to get... Ooh, plus four reason. That's good. CQC training. Using fire and arms as melee weapons deals more damage. Additional item slot is available in the shops. A Yakuza card? Core strength. All combat moves deal an extra point of damage. I will take that. The best best crowd control? Is killing them. That's so weird, your neighbor was really into eels, it seems. I to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. I like this one. This one's a little more, like, chill. When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Let's read them. What's that? You've attracted the attention of something truly evil. Bro, something truly evil can get these hands, alright? I'm not scared. I think I have a cleaver. I got a cleaver and a flashlight. I'm gonna blind that killer. Oh, burnt notes. 
Ага. 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 Legends from the prefecture eels tell of a smaller village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Okay. There must be something more we can learn. I'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding there. You shrug non-committedly. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. What is this? Dangerous motherfucking ships. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, well, back to the seaside. I didn't know if I knew that I would have just Date? You can't shake the feeling date? Those small dock buildings hide some terrible secrets. That's a typo. And that's supposed to say that. That's not me. <laughs> Thinking about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? Alright, well, we gotta go check and see where Kana is. Dark forces came against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. And we got a curse. Let's see. Holes. It's my favorite curse. Kona has been missing since yesterday. You decided to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. About to beat that ass. Neighbor's kitchen. You consciously enter the neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around. Where the hell is Kana? Um. Um. Should we do the kid bathroom? Maybe she's like in in the um let's go to the Oh, sh neighbor's bathroom. A swollen body of your neighbor is rotting away inside putrid, murky water. Both his eyes are missing with countless tiny blood trails leading from all other directions. Amazing. Kana! I found the neighbor, but when his eyes burst, it's I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye, too. she even survived the blood loss oh, ophthalmology too wake up dude you've been asleep for over three hours you're groggily open your eyes you're pretty good she's wearing an eye patch not so pretty anymore hey, I couldn't exactly tell the doctor's truth about what happened. I'm pretty sure I won't be winking off in my left eye anytime soon, but thank you for saving my life. Kana! This is why we're best friends, right? <laughs> you just punctured your left eye. <laughs> you still process the events of a previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay their eggs in sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building you watch the police officer emptying your neighbor's place I thought it was just sort of gonna happen I just I lost two stamina because of the holes <sighs> the whole town stopped receiving any outside food we got all of this. Contaminated water as the first, so I can't heal. Alright. But that is all the time I have for this episode. What a note.
What a note to end on. Jesus Christ. I, I would say I'm sorry, Connor, but I saved your life. So I can't. I got nothing to say sorry for. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.